Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy Steve O, the Ride Cheer Rookie, coming back at you. All right, guys, I make this video as quick as I can. Um, so yesterday, actually last night, we had a problem in Orlando, which we always have problems with the Ride Cheer pickup at our terminals, and I'm gonna get into that here in a minute as to why. Uh, basically, what you're seeing here is the waiting area. That's the bum lot, right? Um, as you see there, pickup on level two. So we have Terminal A, we have Terminal B, right? Or they both have arrivals they both have departures flying um now last night one of the drivers in the orlando group chat uh basically what had happened to her is she went to pick up the rider and he was not at the terminal number that he put in right he was one terminal over so she was just trying to wait for him well then the airport security walks over and yeah we have to wait about three miles off property um essentially off property uh he walks over to her and he's basically like yeah you need to leave you can't wait here for your rider um i don't know if this goes on in y'all's markets let me know in the comments below but let's get right into this um he basically made threats to her to uh essentially call uber on her find her report her. so this terminal right here got i'm sorry oh my guys this picture right here is what the arrivals look like at Terminal B at Orlando International Airport. Those two lanes to the left are where you're supposed to drive through, and those other two lanes to the right is where you're supposed to pick up your riders, okay? But, all right, for the amount of passengers that we get at OIA every day, that is not enough room. And it's been a huge problem for the drivers in Orlando, um, passengers too. This image here is when you're actually coming into what would be this is terminal a so you have terminal a terminal b it's the same concept over at terminal uh b though right you have that sharp turn and very easy to get gridlocked okay now we go back to that image in a minute so where that silver suv is looks like a mitsubishi maybe that right there and back is where the terminal uh the ride share app pickup is for terminal b all right can you guys imagine with that other image that I'll go back to in a minute, how much of a cluster that is when you've got at any given time upwards of, and I'm not even exaggerating, I mean, I'm being serious. You know, you could have 75 to 200 passengers at any given time, right, waiting for a pickup. But they want them to go to those designated areas, all right? <clears throat> and then you have dumbasses that don't know how to drive. And <clears throat> yeah, so here we go. If the, that sharp bend is what you have now you see all those little cones that are right there that block the way guys imagine coming into that airport and being stopped and then trying to get over immediately to pick up your rider this is a non this is a problem that's been going on at the airport for as long as since i've been driving and even further back the terminals the airport is probably the worst out there i, I would like to say I, I can't speak speak for other markets that i've never seen but this is a cluster, guys. Nine times out of 10, they'll have uh, police cars in these areas. Taxis will be blocking us off. So it's really, really complicated to get to our riders. Sometimes the riders will be like, hey, can you just pick me up from departures? Because here's the other thing, guys, you have to understand when it's busy down at the airport, especially like on Sunday nights or if we're having a big conference, it could take 25 to 35 minutes just to get to the rider, right, from that first image i showed you which is the bum lot which the drivers in orlando and my in the group chat i'm in we don't hang out there at the bum lot we chill over um at a restaurant or it's more open restrooms available all that kind of stuff but let's get back on point here so he approaches her and he says you gotta go you gotta go now time is money guys right time is money um and I don't know, you know, this is on Uber and on the International Airport, Orlando International Airport. They both need to get this fixed and get it under control. They did build a new terminal. Um, I think international flights are moving over there next year. I'm sorry, later this year. Um, but you guys can see right there how narrow it is, right? And then you got idiots that want to stop in this first lane, not the far left so much, but this first, this third lane here. So it'd be because you got four lanes total. You got the two where you pick up. And these are supposed to be drive-through lanes only, all right? But you got dumbasses that want to stop in those lanes and pick riders up, all right? Now, again, going back to the image of coming in at Terminal A, let's see if we can expand that a little bit. You guys can see what kind of turn that is. You see all those little cones? 
That is the ride share pickup area for Terminal A. It's the same for B. See number one, ride share app pickup. And I got, they got all these cones, so how do they expect us to, to maneuver our cars in there? And it's, it's, an, it's a problem that we're faced with every day, right? When you do airport rides, this is what we go through in Orlando. Um, but anyway, so this guy tells her, yeah, you need to leave. You cannot wait for the rider, even though other drivers are seen doing it, being allowed to wait for their riders. Um, but yeah, there's about two or three down there that are just straight up pricks, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, as much money as the airport makes off of each ride, I mean, they're making like five, six dollars, I want to say, off each ride. So they're making thousands of dollars a day and they treat us like we're, we're garbage, you know what I mean? The thumbnail shows in the beginning, guys, just so you know, she did call Uber and said, hey, this is what happened. She did get reimbursed five dollars for an inconvenience, but she was forced to circle the airport and leave. She actually had to cancel that ride. All right. But the moral of the problem, too, is the timer doesn't start until you're like right on top of it. So if you were at terminal, if you were at baggage claim one, you would literally have to be there before the timer start, starts. The airport officials are not allowing us to to wait for the timer to start. So if we have a no show, what are we supposed to do? Fortunately for her, the queue was low. Um, but yeah, that's the problem. So she leaves, she has to cancel that ride, and then she gets a request to go back to the same terminal the same gate number right so of course she takes it and as soon as she pulls back in the same jerk comes over and says to her yeah you guys can see says to her did, what did i just tell you a few minutes ago real rude real ass you know what i mean and that's the problem we have to deal with here guys i wanted to make a quick video about it because i don't know if this is going on in your markets or not if it is i really would like to hear some feedback from you um drop a comment below my emails in the description below as well and let me know if this is something you guys are faced with in your markets as well uh, but yeah this is what they did i mean they literally treat her like crap and you know I st we started talking about it and it's like you know for as much money as uber and lyft as much money as the airport gets from rideshare pickups every day for them to treat us like garbage you know that that shit's uncalled for and Uber, Lyft, and the airport, they need to do something to fix this cluster. Because I'm telling you guys, it's an everyday occurrence at the airport. Unless it's like 1, 2, or 3 in the morning where it's not so busy. But even even then, it could still be busy at the airport. <coughs> so, yeah. but So, Uber did give her two $5 inconvenience fees, 10 bucks total. Uh, but, yeah, let me know if this is going on in uh, your markets. Uh, drop a comment below. Shoot me an email. And let me know your feedback on this too, guys. I mean, Uber and Lyft really need to get on this and do something about it. And the airport needs to chill out as well. So that's all I got for this one, guys. As always, check the description below for more help, use, information. Uh, keep doing your thing. Be safe. Be smart. Don't be stupid. Please get your advice from real ride your drivers and not these fakes. And, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, keep doing your thing and making your money. Uber and Lyft didn't get it on. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. Later, guys.